Kicking off this year's parade, number 50, is the Windsor Shadmobile, once again, making its appearance. Originally built by Windsor High School Auto Club and salvaged by the Windsor High School Auto Club president and recent graduate, Marissa Demkowski. The Shadmobile was restored by Tom Demkowski, a former JC with some donations and a lot of sweat equity. Thanks to Tom and Marissa for keeping the Shad Derby tradition alive and swimming. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, coming up next is our Shad Derby Parade Marshal, our police chief, now retired, Mr. Kevin Searles. He retired from the Windsor Police Department this year after 40 years of service, 28 of those years as Chief of Police. Among his many accomplishments are reducing crime rates, creating a crime suppression unit, organizing a bicycle patrol, revamping the Juvenile Review Board, and establishing the Ascend Mentoring Program, which empowers at-youth risk, at risk youth to improve their lives by working with community mentors. The program has expanded beyond Windsor to include Bloomfield and Hartford. Chief Searles has proudly been involved with mentoring organizations throughout his career with a focus on helping children and families. Ladies and gentlemen, Police Chief Kevin Searles, our Parade Marshal. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, our annual tradition, the Windsor Fife and Drum Corps. Established in January 1985 and marched in its first performance at the Shadbury Festival that May, was awarded the first place trophy, which was first of many. The core belongs to several competition associations and competes in the junior ancient class. And next is our Blue Star Mothers of America. They are a veteran service organization chartered by the U.S. Congress in 1960. They're a group of mothers, stepmothers, grandmothers, foster mothers, and female legal guardians who have children serving in the military, guard or reserves, or children who are veterans. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. All of our state representatives, legislators, all with us today. We have Representative Dave Barham, Representative Tammy Zawistowski, Senator Richard Blumenthal is here, Peggy Sayers, State Rep, members of our Town Council and Board of Education marching in our parade today. And leading up to the very end, the person who has been mayor of this community longer than anybody in its 380th year history, ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Don Drinks. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you know, anybody can win a couple football games. Ladies and gentlemen, this group won every football game for Windsor High School, Windsor High Warriors football team. CIAC Class L State Champions, ladies and gentlemen. 12-0 record. And also, the Windsor High Lacrosse team is here. Which leaves Windsor High Baseball is here, ladies and gentlemen. A little louder, Windsor High Baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have, oh, okay, we have a big group of people. Boys Tennis is here. And who else? Girls Lacrosse, Boys and Girls Soccer is here. Boys and Girls Tennis is here. Boys Basketball and Softball teams are here, there. And Sage Park Middle School Softball is here. Coming up next is the nation's only African-American female equestrian organizations. It's the Ebony Horsewomen. They have worked to improve the lives of children in the greater Hartford area for over 30 years. The Ebony Horsewomen Incorporated is an innovative, nationally recognized organization with programs that puts young children, teens, and certain adults together with horses that heal and encourage. 
Their equestrian education and support programs have helped improve the lives of all participants, with most continuing on to higher education in college. Ladies and gentlemen, Ebony Horsewomen. And looking on the other side of Broad Street, that is Pat the Patriot over there. The beloved mascot of the 2014 Super Bowl champions, the New England Patriots. Pat Patriot is 100% muscle and head and shoulders about all the other competitions. Pat Patriot will join the Shad Derby Festival. And here are our Shad Derby Committee co-chairs. Kristen Hoffman and Neil Sachdev. <laughs> After several texts, we got it right. Thank you both for your continued support of the Shad Derby Festival. And coming up next is Grace Episcopal Church. They are right here and they are right over there, right on the town green, right next to the library. This year marks 150 years at Grace Church. We invite you to please come anytime to share in fellowship and friendship. Their shad is the King of Fishes. It was made by the parishioners of Grace Church just for this parade. And coming up next is Team Paragon. The first robotics group, Team Paragon 571, right here in Windsor. Their team is comprised of students from Windsor High School and surrounding areas. Their mission is to provide the opportunity for young minds to channel their creative energy in a safe environment that promotes learning towards the disciplines of science, technology, engineering, and math. Their meetings are held every Monday at 6.30 at the Roger Wolcott School. Stop by if you're interested. Team Paragon, ladies and gentlemen. Followed by the Blazing Paranormals. Age? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yes. Individuals just starting in the group. Yes. And up next, here they are, Windsor's own Windsor High School Warrior Band. participated in prestigious New England music festivals and the Grammy Jazz Ensemble. They've traveled and participated in several festivals in New York, Boston, Toronto, Atlanta, Virginia Beach, Hershey Park, Chicago, Walt Disney World, Florida, and Washington, D.C. Let's take a listen to the Windsor High School Band. Ladies and gentlemen, the Windsor High School Marching Band under the direction of Stephen Ortiz.
transformed this cruiser into a Windsor High School police vehicle. The students repurposed the old auto parts and painted and marked the vehicle in Windsor High School colors. At no cost to the town, ladies and gentlemen. Riding in the car today is School Resource Officer, Officer Valenti. And now, let's welcome our 2015 Shad Derby Queen candidates. First, we have Tony Ambrosino, Miss Snowgrove. She is a senior at Windsor High School that loves being outdoors and plans to attend Western New England University to earn her doctorate in pharmacy. Michelle Boltman, Miss Windsor Lions Club. She plans on attending Springfield Technical Community College to become an ultrasound technician and wants to thank her lovely sponsor and family for their support. Next is Erin Burke, Miss Ashley's distinctive jewelry and gifts. Is a senior at Winter High School and plans to attend Franklin Pierce University next year. She enjoys playing lacrosse and soccer and spending time with friends and family. <laughs> Megan Canoni, Miss Dr. Robert Bianchi. She is a senior at Winter High School. She is captain of the girls tennis team and she will be attending Marist College in the fall. And now we have Alexandria Connor, Miss Brown's Harvest. She's a senior at Ethel Walker and plans to attend Roger Williams and play Division III field hockey. She enjoys reading, playing the ukulele, and spending time on her family farm. And Amanda Dillon, Miss Union Street Tavern. She's a senior at Winter High School and will soon be attending Southern New Hampshire University to obtain her bachelor's degree in early childhood education. She would like to thank her family and the Union Street Tavern for all of their support. Amanda Santos, Miss Nunes Quality Plumbing and Heating, LLC. A senior at Winter High School, she will attend Monmouth University in the fall as an anthropology major. Miss Dom's Eatery is a strong willed goal-driven, hard-working senior at Windsor High. She is attending Elms College, majoring in nursing and minoring in psychology. She is known to always speak her mind and takes pride in what she believes in. And now we have Raquel Sola, Miss Exchange Club of Windsor. She's a senior at Windsor High School. She will be attending Emory University in Atlanta next year as a biology major, with the hopes of eventually entering the medical field. And Deirdre Volk, Miss Menchie's frozen yogurt. She's a senior at Winter High School, and she will be attending Mount Ida College in the fall, majoring in photography and playing soccer. She enjoys making the people around her happy and being active. And now, let's welcome our 2015 Queen's Court. First, we have the 2015 Miss Congeniality, Emily Kopez. Miss Windsor JCs. She will be attending St. Michael's College this coming fall. There, she will run cross country and continue playing the float. The 2015 Vincent Scully Memorial Award and Mary Ellen Cena Community Service Award winner is Lauren Canoni, Miss Valeri's Martial Arts. Is a senior at Windsor High School and she will be attending Park University with a major in psychology. She enjoys soccer, karate, and spending time with family and friends. The 2015 Second Princess is Annalise Elveld, Miss PC Development Group. She's a senior at Windsor High School. She loves dance, musical theater, and robots. She will be attending college to pursue a degree in engineering this fall. Annalise would like to thank everyone who has supported her throughout this journey. The 2015 First Princess is Michelle Dewin, Miss Jordan Young Dental. She has lived in Windsor her entire life, but is excited to explore different parts of America and the world. Michelle will be attending Texas Christian University in the fall in the hopes of going into the medical field. 
In our 2015 Princess Royal is Victoria Hortis, Miss Windsor Karate Club. She's a senior at Windsor High School. She is president of the Key Club and the class of 2015. She enjoys writing poetry, dancing, and playing volleyball. She will be attending Wheelock College in the fall to study early childhood education. And your 2015 Shad Derby Queen is Eleanor Moore, Miss Hairdresser on Fire. She's a senior at Windsor High School, and next fall she will be attending Ohio University Scripps College of Communications. There, she plans on majoring in photojournalism while double, double minoring in business and English as she hopes to travel the world after college. Ellie would like to thank her family, her friends, her sponsor, Hairdresser on Fire, and the lovely people of Windsor for all of their support. Ladies and gentlemen, there they are. Shad Derby Queen, her court. Congratulations to all of you. And coming up next is the Karen Connection Adult Day Health Center. It is Windsor's own Adult Day Health Center been serving frail, elderly, and disabled adults in Windsor and surrounding towns since 1987. Karen Connection does not change where you live, but how you live by offering skilled nursing and meaningful engagement in the community to citizens who otherwise live with the potential for isolation and premature admission to a nursing home. And coming up next, the Holy Temple Church of God in Christ. located here in Windsor at 691 Windsor Avenue, just down the street. And up next is the Exchange Club of Windsor, responsible for a program such as the club's yearly telephone directory, is delivered to all households in Windsor free of charge, youth services scholarships, a salute to Windsor's finest police officer and bravest firefighter, and their ACE Award recipient. We're driving a 1968 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. And Club President Bernie Caliendo and Windsor's Firefighter of the Year, Lieutenant Dan Civelli. Up next, John F. Kennedy School K Kids. Proud to represent the youth division of the town of Windsor Kiwanis Club. Helping to build and care for our community by participating in projects that benefit our schools and our town. And up next is the Windsor Lions Club. Their mission statement, we serve. They've been serving the community for 60 years, providing scholarship to, scholarships to Windsor High School seniors, providing eye care to Windsor students, and many more community-based needs. They meet at Union Street Tavern the second and fourth Tuesdays at 6.30 from September to May, and you're invited to attend. And they are making some hot dogs and hamburgers right in back of me. I have an aerial view, it's quite something. And up next, the First Town Veterinary Science 4-H Club. Made up of 59 children ages 7 through 18 from the greater Hartford area with a shared love for their pets and learning about how to care for them. They do many community service projects including pet therapy at local nursing homes, helping run low-cost rabies vaccination clinics for Windsor and Bloomfield, and helping raise money for Fidelco, the Guide Dog Foundation. And the float today are future veterinarians that are demonstrating their work skills. And their advisor, there he is. You know him, you love him, Dr. Larry Pennington of Windsor Animal Clinic. I'm over here. <laughs> And coming up next is Pequannock Elementary School. A primary school consisting of 251 kindergarten through grade two students. Students are superstars who know the Pequannock promise. Be safe, be respectful, work hard. Thank you all for coming. Up next is the Ann Cubberly Puppets. 
And Beverly is a visual artist with more than 28 years of experience who's worked extensively with school and community groups, always a focus on creativity, process, community, and repurposed materials. Ms. Beverly teaches group performance, mass making, giant puppet making, paper mache, and creating kinetic sculptures from recycled materials. And up next is St. Gabriel's School. It's the Catholic school for students pre-K through grade eight, which delivers a strong academic course offering with a base of Christian values and nurturing environment. Reorganized in 2011 as a national blue ribbon school of excellence, St. Gabriel's School is also offering extra extracurricular clubs, sports, and music programs. Up next is the Hartford Area Roller Derby. Exclusively organized for charitable purposes, more specifically to organize and promote the Women's Fast Track Roller Derby in Greater Hartford and Greater Hartford area in Connecticut. Hard's primary purpose are to foster the skills and athleticism of roller derby and promote teamwork, respect, empowerment of women, and to build a community. You can watch them play tonight. They'll be playing tonight, Saturday, May 16th at 6 p.m. at Nomads in South Windsor for a doubleheader. All are welcome. Thank you for coming. Wow, look at this. It's Windsor Little League, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, I think just about everybody is here. Offering levels of play for children from 5 to 12. Little League and Senior Junior Little League for players aged 13 and 15 for softball and baseball. The Windsor Little League is an organization that hopes to instill a sense of sportsmanship and community in its players. Please come out to Welch Field or Welch Park and enjoy a game. The Windsor Little League.
Please register your child for kindergarten and join this wonderful Windsor Public School group. Coming up next is Manchester Regional Police and Fire Pipe Band. They've been in existence since 1953. In addition to playing in parades and competitions, they've performed with world-renowned recording artists such as Black 47 and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And also travels internationally, playing in military tattoos as far as Germany and Switzerland. Led by drum major Ox Gara and pipe major Rick Folio. Up next is the Windsor Discovery Center and Montessori School. Celebrating 35 years of excellence, this jewel of Windsor offers a Montessori education for children 18 months to 6 years old and child care services for children 6 weeks to 13 years of age. The multi-age classrooms are led by seasoned degree staff. Curriculum includes Spanish, music, community service projects, drama, art, and much more. Enroll now for the fall. Up next is the Clover Street Elementary Kiwanis K Kids. A community service club made up of 50 fifth graders at Clover Street Intermediate School. They could serve not only their school, but community in the way and where they live. They've been home to the K-Kids since 2005 and proud to celebrate their 10 years of service. Up next is Ace Hardware. Just right around the corner, right over here on Broad Street, Ace Hardware. Ace is the place, giving our neighbors the help they need. And here they are, every year an annual tradition here at the Windsor Shad Derby Parade. This being a 50th parade, as I mentioned earlier, it's the Snake Shriner Cycle Unit. Performing on their Harley Davidson motorcycles in the parade route for the last 50 years, they have donated their proceeds to the Shriners Hospital in Boston and Springfield. Shriners Hospitals provide free burn treatments and orthopedic treatments for children throughout North America.
brass concert band playing military type marches. They were established, get this, in 1899, making it the oldest continually formed and performing Shriner band in the world.
established in 2002, the club is located at 17 Clover Street, right next to Clover Elementary School. The team participates in Connecticut Cricket League and is open to any Windsor resident. They have a youth development program. For more details, you can contact the Windsor Recreation and Leader Leisure Services Department. And let's see a quick cricket demo. Ladies and gentlemen. And here they are. Ladies and gentlemen, Valari's Martial Arts Center. Every year a great showing here at the Shad Derby Parade. They've been teaching Windsor's future leaders for over a decade, from tops to adults. They have everything that you're looking for, self-defense to self-confidence. The Lari's Martial Arts Center. Established in 1981, 
They are a community-oriented program operating year-round under the direction of the Town of Windsor, its police chief, directors, and advisors. Their mission is to develop responsible youth, encourage academic excellence, leadership, teamwork, volunteerism, and offer young men and women insight to the field of law enforcement. The program is supported by the Windsor Police Cadets Incorporated, a nonprofit tax-exempt charitable organization. You must be at least 11 years of age and have completed the first marking period of sixth grade and have displayed exemplary behavior in the community. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, Windsor Volunteer Ambulance, serving the community since 1980. Emergency medical care to the citizens and visitors of the town of Windsor. Thank you, Windsor WVA, for all the work you do in this community. Speaking of all the work you do, how about these people? Ladies and gentlemen, Windsor Volunteer Fire Department.